Okay, so this is where we're gonna need. We need uh, white paper, the things that you don't use anymore because I have a lot of white paper I don't use anymore for my school for my last few years. Or you can use a newspaper. And then you're gonna need uh, tape, any tape. And then you're gonna need scissors, ball pen, or pencils, if whatever you prepare. But if you wanna, you're gonna need this to draw the butterfly. And then you have um, elastic or yarn. You can choose that. Uh, it's like optional. You can choose between yarn or rubber band. Later, I will show you why you need to choose or like. And then we also have this. You need a double-sided tape, and then you need. So you're gonna need a crash bag, white, blue, and black. Or it's up to you. Whatever butterflies that you like to make, you can make a orange, green, yellow. It's up to you. This one is gonna look like after you draw there. So you see we need to do this, just cut it and then also we have to cut it the trash bag and we have to match it like that. I'm gonna show you in a bit. So in here, I put a double-sided tape 
at the bottom and this one I'm gonna connect it because my trash bag is not long enough for the butterfly so I have to connect the black ones Again like that and it will be come like that I will remove this white and then it will, I will tap I will glue it like that So this is optional. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. But what I'm gonna do, so to make it secure, I have to put a duct tape, black duct tape, to match the color of the butterfly. This is the middle. Actually, this is the whole trash bag. I think this is like almost six pieces of trash bag. I collect, I collected them all, and then connect all of them, and then this is the middle. I connected also here. And then I'm gonna go over here, here in this one to make it secure. I use a double sided tape and then I'm gonna use one duct tape for the middle. So I use a marker to mark all of that because we're going to, how do you call that? Um, like put the top of the trash bag on top of it and then we like uh, I forget how you called it it's something like you oh, never mind I'll, call, I'll do it later I'll show you how now it's time to cut it this is the duct tape it's going to our back and we have to fold it this into two so that when we cut it it will be the same size with the other other what do you call that uh, template the other template of the wings now it should look like this the next thing we're gonna put the other trash bag on top of that wings and then we're going to mark it But when you cut this one, you have to double the trash bag so it, the black trash bag will not, oh, it's not visible. Actually, my, still wet, it still goes to my hand. And there you go. And then you do that for the rest of the other wings. But make sure when you cut it, because when you look at here, it's the black one is still visible. See? So when you cut it, you make it like five, like five plastic layer. No, four. Four layers of plastic. And then we cut it. You have to glue the four layers down here so that it will secure the four layers. See? When you have four layers, and then you make, when you stick it, it will be like this so that you don't, you have to do it the opposite side so that when you do this, it will not see the marker. It will be like that. But you will have to put glue, this one, and the four layers of big plastic.
Wow! So this is what it looks like after. So as you can see, I glue everything in it and I pass forward the video. This, I show you how to do this hole. It's the same what you have to do here. And here I glue it. But make sure that when you glue this, use a glue that is for plastic. Because if you use, there's a different kinds of glue. If you use a glue that is for a paper, it won't work on a plastic. So make sure you use a glue that make, works with the plastic. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure myself in this middle. And then I'm going to measure my hand like this. Reach my hand over here and see where my, this point. Because I'm holding one hand in my camera and using that point. And then we're going to mark it somewhere here. We're going to put a tape. The reason why we're going to put tape is because we want to secure it. Like if you put a hole in here, it will destroy the plastic later wards. So we're going to use a tape, but make sure use a tape that is matching color with the plastic. So it's except it's black. You use a duct tape. I recommend that you use a duct tape because it's like, a, it's not exactly it's textile, but it's almost like that. And here is going to be, we're gonna use a really a circle hole in here. But before you do that, you make sure you have to tape it. So it's very secure. And here, you have optional. You can sew this. Here I'm going to use in the middle. This I'm gonna use in the middle. This is for the wings, or the butterfly wings at the back. Same with my dress. And this one also for, this is like a ponytail. Two ponytails, if you have two black ponytails, you can use it. I got two strands of, uh, plastic to connect it in the home. So it should look like this. We're gonna put the portable on the back of the dress. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Come on. Stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly